What is up my friends? It is a beautiful day. I have just gassed up. I'm ready for a ride. What's that? Oh, I'm getting a video call. Here, let's bring it up on the monitor. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to sunny Somerset. I'm Phil from Western Supermotor Vlog, and you're watching Road Reality. Take it away, John. Well, thanks for the intro, Weston Supermoto Vlog. Thank you very much. If you haven't checked out Weston Supermoto Vlog's channel, um, go around, dude. I'm just waiting. <laughs> Silly. Uh, anyway, if you haven't checked out Weston Supermoto Vlog's channel, go do so. That crazy Brit. We're going to start with a shout out to him. Very, very nice channel. I like his videos quite a bit. I always look forward to him. And we're going to move into a 360 test and i'm going to give an update on me I, i'm pointing at my foot because it hurts like the dickens today uh, but we'll get back to that in a second and i'll give some channel updates so we're doing a test and a shout out and some other stuff so it's just like any other road reality video roll that intro that's enough of that so yeah stick around we're gonna have some fun uh, i've got a little route planned and let's dive right in so let's skip ahead Boop. whoa dear all right, don't see that every day, but that's this ride and the ride before it. Both times I saw deer, broad daylight. So here we are, another beautiful day in the neighborhood. And while I'm cruising, uh, a couple of shout outs. So my buddy Hippodrome, also from across the pond, Although that's pretty geocentric of me because I'm across the pond from them. So we'll just say Great Britain again. He and Weston Supermoto vlog over there in the UK entertaining us blokes in the uh, in the US. So thanks for that guys. And if you haven't checked out Hippo Drones' channel, he does a lot of dirty bike riding, which is uh, it's like dirt bikes, but for Brits. So I really enjoy his videos too. I can't go off road. My my knees and joints and stuff just do not allow for that, so I don't. Can't stand up very long. Alrighty then, we are now on Glen Road down here in Potomac, Maryland. At least I'm pretty sure it's Potomac. Nice looking Corvette there. Uh, anyway, since I shouted out Weston Supermotive Vlog, thank you again, sir, for the introduction. I love those community intros because this moto vlogging community is just so cool that People will go out of their way to record an intro for you. And I'm going to need to pull over here for a second. I think next, next hill. Hey folks, this is how I got to walk. I laced up my boot as tight as I can get it to hold everything in place while I ride. This is actually a big test because in a couple of days I'm supposed to go to work if I can make it. I got to drop off some materials and I think have a meeting with my boss and uh, I'll post up how that went here in a second. Probably a text online because or on the screen because I don't really know what the hell I'm doing. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably edit this well after that meeting so I'm just all backed up um, but we'll get back to that in a second. Other shout outs? Uh, oh man there's been so many good moto vlogging uh, videos lately I'm really enjoying Old Man Ronin. There's a Throttle Fiend, the Fiend Fam. Yeah, he just got into a motorcycle accident not long ago. And prayers for a speedy recovery, sir. He had a bunch of pins put in his wrist. I do not, I do not envy him. Ugh. Oh, while I'm doing shout outs, I wanted to congratulate Chopper Fett on hitting the 1,000 subscriber mark. Interesting stat. We posted Sport Correct Reveal Reaction videos on the day it came out, and his, uh, his video generated about 10 times as much views as mine did, but it also generated a bunch of views for me because YouTube suggested mine in the suggested videos portion at the end of his video or off on the sidebar. So that was really cool. So if anybody followed uh, over from Chopper Pet to my channel, thank you for watching. And thank you to all my viewers. Thank you for coming on these rides with me. It's super cool knowing that I'm not just talking to myself, but there's at least a dozen of you still watching at this point. 
we did a couple of shout outs and now we're going to do a channel slash John update and then we'll do the test uh, for the camera. But yeah, I mentioned my foot hurts. I have the gout, which I've mentioned in a couple of videos. The gout is a buildup of uric acid in the joints. In my case, it's the right foot and ankle. And the uric acid crystallizes and creates this very painful inflammation. My foot turns purple and swells up and feels hot. And I need to go to the right. And now we have to go to the left. And I'm really trying to minimize my use of my right foot. I basically have to move the whole boot up onto the brake pedal to use the rear brake. Which is why I'm riding this bike, because it has linked brakes. So when I hit the front brake uh, at 12 miles an hour or faster, it sort of hits the back brake a little bit too. So it's less work I have to do, thank God. But I recently uh, came back from a road trip in my truck and again, thank God there for adaptive cruise control because without it, I wouldn't have made it home. You see, my wife won't drive my truck, so I had to do the five hour road trip on my own, you know, driving, driving on my own. The whole family was there with me. We had two adults, two dogs, and two kids in the truck. That was fun. Uh, but yeah, so my foot just hurts like hell. It flared up while I was up there. I hobbled around on an orthopedic boot and I was wearing it till about two minutes before I put on my motorcycle boot. But I find that if I do some sort of compression on it, it sort of helps keep it from throbbing too bad. The pain, to put it in perspective, is bad enough when it flares up for me that a top sheet in bed, if the wind blows on it, we have a fan blowing down on us from the ceiling. If that wind blows on my foot, it wakes me up. And then I can't get back to sleep for like an hour. It is not fun. So. That's just a little bit of negativity, but it's not really because it's trying to explain to people that don't have the gout what the gout is all about. I know that rhymes. I'm not going to make a quip about it, I swear. Yes, editor, no quips about rhyming anymore. Got it. Yes, I promise. Okay, anyway, moving on. You guys like that where I argue with my editor? I think it's funny. So, where do I want to go now? Shoot. No, there's nothing here. Yeah, there's a stop sign. Let's go straight. I always forget my turns around here. I've got nav, but I'm not using it. So anyway, the gout is painful. Um, running the gas and brake on my truck is just too much. So honestly, this is way more comfortable than driving right now. I know it makes absolutely zero sense, but I could pretty much ignore my right foot because all it does is my rear brake. So that's where I'm at. Where the channel is at is that I still have like nine projects in the editor. I keep switching around which one I work on on which days because I try to spend a half hour to an hour a day editing video because it's uh, it's relaxing me time and I like relaxing me time so that's what I do and I got some real bangers coming out I, I don't know how many people are going to actually watch them but I think they're bangers so there's got to be a couple other people that think they're cool too that's my lot in life it's not a lot but it's my life yes I quoted a children's movie but really, I got a lot of good videos coming out, and they're coming out kind of haphazardly. I'm moving things around to mix in some bobber and KZ content so that the Harley guys don't get bored seeing the same bike all the time. And the bobber and KZ fans get some love too. They get to see the bikes that they came to the channel for because, you know, I'm a multifaceted individual biker. Woohoo! Hey, that was nice. Two up. Um, I'm a multifaceted individual. I do a lot of different things and I like showing a lot of different things. And, but hell, I am a lot of different things. And I wish I knew which way to go here. I think to the left. I don't really know. Ah, and I do think that making a left was the right choice. And now the 360 camera is lower. How does it look through this corner? I bet it looks pretty cool. And I was riding the other day. And see the camera way down there? I don't know if you can see that. But that is fully bottomed out over there. I think it would give a cool shot of the wheel, the front wheel. So we're going to try that. Unfortunately, I have to stop to raise it back up because I had it just ever so slightly compressed uh, to, get that, uh, to get the stability. Another shout out, Anthony C. Robeson. I cannot remember if I'm getting his name right. And he rides... He rides a well-worn 
uh, Ultra Limited, I think it is, or Electric Glide Limited, something like that. It's orange and it's got like a hundred thousand miles on it. And dude's got a 360 camera as well, and he's got some pretty neat mounts for it. So I like watching his videos too. How'd you like the time lapse? Was that cool or what? Did I pick the right music? Because I know I didn't run straight up GoPro audio through that. That's a neat camera angle though, huh? I just kind of had that idea. If there's another angle you think I ought to try, let me know. I am all ears. Not really, not all ears, but uh, I am willing to take requests. So now we are back on Shady Partnership Road, up county, Montgomery County. Great road to ride, a little on the bumpy side, but uh, a lot of fun, mostly straight, but it's a very scenic ride because you get some uh, farms and fields up ahead. And like I said, there's shade, which is really cool. You do get a lot of BC cliffs or bicyclists, if you will, because uh, it's just a scenic area to ride. So anyway, I have rambled on long enough. I'm gonna go continue enjoying my ride. We, uh, we've covered some, we some shout outs. We covered some channel updates. We covered a John update. Um, and we did a test because here's the thing. I really do enjoy filming with the 360 camera and trying new angles. Um, it's just a lot of fun to play with it in the editor and see what comes of it. Uh, even if I do get a technical difficulty time and again, or from time to time rather, it's still a lot of fun. And that's why I keep doing it. And I want to show off what happens because not all the testing is great. Some people don't have the time or inclination to go do the testing, but they have the same equipment. So anyway, I, uh, I do, oh God, ugh, eight bumps, ah. Anyway, I like to do the testing so other people don't have to because I enjoy it, you know? Not everybody's a lab scientist, but they like uh, reaping the benefits or rewards of that testing. So anyway, if you enjoyed my testing today, my little bit of rambling, go ahead and mash that like button. If you think your friends will enjoy it, share it with them. And uh, until the next video, keep the shiny side up. Ta-da. You know, this may have been a mistake. I know the pill bottle said may cause drowsiness and dizziness and be careful operating heavy machinery. Does a 900 pound Harley count? Cause I'm kind of dizzy. I mean, I took that stuff four hours ago. I should be okay right now, right? Uh-oh. And just in case you were curious, this is what the four foot selfie stick looks like way extended all the way up. And it's kind of bouncy over some bumps, isn't it? But I uh, just wanted to give you one more angle. See you later. Hey, look at that. That looks like another billiard blue street glide. Man, I don't see those every day. Pretty cool. Have a good one.